Hello my dear friends. Welcome back to Biology Explained. Lot of research is going about the vaccine development for COVID-19. And it seems BCG vaccine can also be a potential candidate until the specific vaccine for COVID-19 is developed. I came across two papers recently, one from India and the other one from USA. Let's see what they have told in these papers about BCG vaccine and COVID-19. I hope you all know that the BCG vaccine is a specific vaccine for tuberculosis that is it is an anti-tuberculosis vaccine. It is found to be a very good immunomodulator that is it trains the immune system of our body. In this video, I am not going into the details of how BCG vaccine works. If anyone of you is interested to know about how BCG vaccine works, let me know in the comment. I will make a separate video on BCG vaccine. And if you want to know how vaccine works, please refer to my previous video. I will provide the link in the description. Now let's see what the authors have said in the paper. It has been found that the rate at which infection occurs and the mortality rate is very different among countries. Various reasons like ethnicity, dietary habits, climate, social activities, genetic differences can be responsible for these differences. And according to the authors, another reason for this difference can be due to the difference in the BCG policy. There are various countries where the BCG policy is different. The authors have divided the countries into three groups depending upon the BCG administration policy. One is the universal vaccination, that is countries which still continue with the BCG vaccination and from now I will mark them in blue. The second one is discontinued vaccination, that is the countries which once had given BCG vaccination but then discontinued, they will be marked with green from now. And the third country that have never adopted to the BCG vaccination, they will be marked in red. And they try to pick up cases from countries which are similar. They looked at the disease incidence, that is the rate of newly diagnosed cases and the mortality, that is death rate. Let's draw two graph where y-axis shows the disease incidence or the death and the x-axis shows three different countries based on BCG vaccination policy. Disease incidence and mortality was found to be much higher in the countries with no vaccination as compared to the countries which had universal vaccination policy. The incidence and death was found to be intermediate for the countries with discontinued BCG vaccination. Please note that these graphs are only for pictorial representation. They do not represent the exact data found in the paper. Please refer to the journals for the exact data. Next, they tried to look at the age specific incidence rate and mortality rate. They divided the age into five different groups less than 15, 15 to 45, 45 to 65, 65 to 80 and above 80. And then they tried to see the incidence rate and death rate in three different BCG policy countries. It was found that the number of infected cases are higher for countries without BCG policy marked in red and the difference was maximum between the age group 45 to 80. However, subjects less than 15 years did not show any difference. The mortality rate was also found to be higher in discontinuous or no vaccinated group as compared to the universal vaccinated group. So their results found that there is a consistently reduced disease incidence and mortality in countries with a universal BCG vaccination policy. So it seems BCG vaccination has some effect on COVID-19. They also found that some strains of BCG work better while others like BCG Russia 
and BCG Brazil were not effective against COVID-19. And according to them, this could be the reason why Brazil and Russia have higher incidence and mortality in spite of having universal BCG policy. The American authors in the journal PNAS also found the similar results that is there is an inverse correlation between BCG vaccination and mortality rate. But they cautioned that randomized control trials will only provide the ultimate result. Thus, to sum up, both the journals found that BCG vaccination has a protective effect on COVID-19. However, we have to remember that these are observational studies. That is, here we analyze the existing data. We should have randomized control studies. That is, we should have BCG vaccine administered in human in this pandemic situation and find whether there is any effect of the vaccine. This type of study is ongoing in Netherlands and Australia. We have to wait until we get the results from them about the randomized control study. Till then, we have to take this data with a pinch of salt since these are only observational studies. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment what you think about BCG vaccine and COVID-19 situation. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.